Does everyone else remember this game? I know I do. So, ignoring how it's been a square year and a couple of months since I've last done this game. Welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry 3. Yeah! So, uh... Dante is not dead. This is good. This is good. I think I'll just let this play out so you guys can see what I'm talking about. My jacket's fucked up, my sword's different, I'm top of a tower, and my brother's running away. This is a good day. Fuck you, Pillar. Oh. Ugh, my pillow punching powers are very impressive. When you positively absolutely need to get to your place in a hurry. Oh, if one gunslinger was actually that good. Uh, this looks pretty cool, but I bet you I can find some combo videos of DMC3 that are crazier than this. Ow, 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 ow! Do you I love this game sometimes? Oh, what is this? No, 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 no! Fuck. Well, show's over, kids. Everyone go home. <laughs> that was, uh, that was my four-minute Let's Play at Devil May Cry 3. I hope everyone enjoyed themselves. Nah, actually, uh, this could be a hell of an interesting mission, since now I get to play in inside of that fucking Leviathan that just ate me, so... Whatevs, you know. Alright, so I'm gonna keep this set up. God, it's been forever since I've touched this game. I've just been... I only recently started picking this up again, because... Ooh, okay. I'll start explaining the fire nuances of this as I go along, but I only recently picked this game up again recently because I was showing it to my friend Josh and my friend Conrad, who I had done live streams with before, has actually started getting into the Delman Cry series. So I decided, you know what, let me pick up three again. And I remembered why I love this game so fucking much. I'm like, hey, I, I should. Wasn't I doing a let's play of this like a long time ago? I should probably keep doing it again. Yeah, no, yeah. All right, so the big change since last time is that. Now, there's a brand new game mechanic that's introduced here that is probably one of the sweetest tools you will ever have in any video game ever. It's called Double Trigger. What Double Trigger does is it allows you to, well, okay, here it is. It allows you to transform into a powered up state, basically like, yeah, I think Super Saiyans. Except this is a hell of a lot better, if you can believe that. So, um, it's, there's also a move in here called Double Trigger Flux, which is done by holding down the Double Trigger button for a certain amount of time, then loosing it, which will cause an explosion if you have... A certain amount of orbs stocked up, which I would do, but uh, I have. See, I have L1 mapped to my gun button, and square so is my double trigger button, so I'm not gonna be doing that. Uh, at least, not this time around. Unfortunately, I'm hella rusty right now, so let me. Uh, Alright, I got level 2. Yeah, I got level 2, Swordmaster. Yeah, that's fine. Funny thing is, I've only recently found some really cool uses for that move, as a really good combo finisher, so I'm gonna be making hella use of it. Yeah, so this first area you want to go around and slice these weird work thing. I'm not entirely sure. Whatever the hell they are, you gotta go around, slice them, and uh, it'll open slowly but steadily open up that one area. All right, this I think is one where you have to like fly for like 20 seconds. Is it? Are they? Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Devil's teeter totter. Unfortunately, and luck of me, now I have double trigger. This could be hella useful. So the general gist of double trigger is that it gives you 
a basic boost to all of your stats. It, helps, it lets you A, regenerate, it lets you move faster, it gives you a slightly higher defense, it gives you a slightly higher attack power, all that good stuff. But there's more to it than that that the game's not really going to fill you in on. See, uh, whenever you're in double trigger, I don't know if anyone really knows this, this is the first time through, but your form actually changes depending on what weapon you have equipped. So like, with Rebellion, it's the same one you saw in the cutscene, but with Cerberus, it becomes like different. So what you want to do is you want to like figure out, oh god, double trigger. <laughs> Speaking of which, so what double trigger does with each individual devil arm, it actually gives you a different boost to different stats. Now I'm going to throw them all up on the screen right now, uh, individually what weapons they are, or at least what the ones I have right now, because I don't want to spoil what other weapons you could get in the game. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh yeah, that's right, I got to clear these guys out. Uh, <laughs> I'm not doing this with the weapons I have right now, Jesus Christ. They're everywhere, and they're double triggered too. Uh. Eh. Alright. No, I'm not doing that mission again. That is fucked up. Yeah, I'm not doing this with a raw Dante on hard mode against those guys. Fuck that. So, uh, alright, moving on. Yeah, but the basic idea is that with... uh, The ones I do know off the top of my head that are different stat changes is that with Cerberus, you get a, you get a crazy ass speed boost. And with Rebellion, you get a pretty balanced stat boost. But there's gonna be a diff uh, different kind of double trigger that you'll get later that I will showcase. That is actually pretty nifty. Man, I don't want these. Oh man, I'm so rusty. All right, two. Mash. There we go. Okay, I can only hope my past me from a year ago was able to thoroughly detail all the shit in its entirety. But if not, yeah, I'm gonna start improvising on the fly now. And that should be it. Oh wait. One more giant fucking one remains on that giant vagina. Okay, so where would that be? Where would that be? Where would that be? Map, help me. Map? Okay, Leviathan stomach. That doesn't tell me anything, really. But I think it's over here somewhere. Yeah, roughly. Alright, so since Re Rebellion is generally like a, the most well balanced uh, buff you get from uh, Double Trigger. Cerberus is a hell of a speed boost, which helps immensely with clearing out crowds. For Agni Ruja, I don't remember off the top of my head. I think it has something to do with either like your... Oh, it's right behind you. Go figure. I think it has something to do with like your elemental attacks do more damage or something like that. Having wide area effect. I'm not sure. I'll double check that. But for other weapons you'll get later on, they, the two other weapons you get unlocked in this game, those are like the best boosts you could possibly get. They're so crazy good. But I'll worry about those once I get there. And there's also one more thing I want to highlight about Double Trigger right now. Uh, when I'm, whenever I get to finding our enemies. Should I change weapons? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Jesus. This fucking Leviathan is like, so morbid. Hey, I'm at your Prime Core. What are you doing here? <laughs> nah, she just going to be the boss of the Leviathan Core you'd be finding. Actually, Leviathan Core? Fuck, I'm having some major Metroid Prime 3 flashbacks right now. Oh shit, giant tapeworm. Yeah, I do have enough to go double trigger right now. We, I just like to use double trigger here to outrun this guy since you know it's really easy to do. All right, and whenever he, if he ever gets close enough to start attacking you, you definitely gonna want to jump out of the way. You know, if it's bullet frames on rising and all. So you're safe here, but if you're like me, you can go after this guy. It's real. It's kind of tricky to do. He does. He take this guy takes a hell of a punishment. But, there are ways to make this slightly easier, since, you know, this guy's kind of stunlocked right now. Ah, he also attacks a lot faster than I remember, too. Wait, I wonder if it'll work on this guy. Taunt? Hell yeah! Okay, so what Taunt does is, not only does it give you a slight style boost, but it also gives you some Devil Trigger orbs back. The orbs that are on top of the screen, by the way. He should be dead pretty soon. Yeah, he's got like one left. Double Trigger just finishes this guy off. Also, the best thing, one of the other good things about Double Trigger is that across all your forms, it'll give you a, like super armor on all of your moves. So it's really hard for something to just regularly take you down. It's really hard for enemies to stun your movement also if you're pretty good about it. 
So as long as you keep attacking and you have really good like management of your orbs, you should be fine for the most part. Oh, and I hope I discussed this before, the glitch where if an enemy is still on screen when they're dying, you can get a free taunt on him. That's basically a guaranteed way to get yourself Devil Trigger orbs. Devil, yeah, Devil Trigger orbs in this game are your lifeline. You want to preserve them as much as possible. Nah, he's not getting anything. Mm. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Duh, wait, do I not have the ascension? I should. Let it rip. Uh, that's gonna be definitely my best or most powerful signature attack until I get something better. Uh, God. So rusty. But yeah, whenever whenever you're attacking enemies, if ever you get a chance, just try out a taunt. It'll get you dealt with trigger points as well as some stylish points, but so keep yourself alive for a hell of a lot longer. Uh, as far as those Leviathan, I don't really know what the story of it is. It just kind of comes out of nowhere and it's as dead pretty much as soon as it is introduced. Ugh. I also read recently. Um, it was through a tutorial, thanks to Delvin Cry Wiki, that apparently Swordmaster allows you has this innate ability where you can like change direction of your melee attacks on the fly. I thought it was just native to all weapons, honestly, no matter what style you're in. But apparently it applies just to Swordmaster. I don't know why it is, but hey, whatever. Ow. Alright, need to start getting the plug current going on here. Okay. They're not all dead. Or maybe they just packed up a lot. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Alright, Ignis, whatever. Actually, this area right here is really cool because you get a full view of this guy's eye socket. Or maybe you don't. <laughs> I know you do, it's just, I guess it's gone now. And I can only assume this fucker is on the verge of like collapsing. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, wait, something over here. I believe. Green orb? Oh, I thought there was more here. Nah, apparently not. Well, a green orb is just as good as anything, so why not? Yeah. So in it. Unlike uh, your regular health bar, where you can get like blue, blue orb fragments that increase it, the only way you can increase your devil trigger lifespan, or the amount of devil trigger orbs you have, is by purchasing, purchasing uh, purple orbs from the statues. No, it's all fine. Good. I actually I don't I think that's really easy. Let me see if I can take this guy. Ah, did it register? Why the hell not? Ah, this thing's so sturdy. Is this thing gonna actually leg up anytime soon? Nah, I gotta get a triple S. Hey Bob, yes Audacity, how about I freeze on you in the middle of recording and then you have to do shit post commentary? Oh that sounds like a swell idea. And so I did. So now right here I am, sitting here watching my video playback and realizing, well Audacity froze on me a lot sooner than I thought it did, it did so shit. But anyway, uh, sorry about that folks, I guess I'm gonna have to start, I really need to start looking at Audacity more, making sure it doesn't fuck up on me more in the future, because if it keeps doing this, we're gonna have a problem. Anyway, I just got done watching more of Oni and G's videos. So, uh, yeah, basically it's the same path back to, or basically it's just like a loop around from where you picked up the Ignis item and going back to where you were to get to fight the Ignis boss. Which is always exciting. By exi exciting, I mean it's like the, exa the equivalent of a fucking prostate exam is... Ugh. Anyway, before that, I'm gonna take on a quick group of enemies, and here during playback, I was just kind of like trying to practice my jump canceling because that's whenever I go without playing Delvin Cry for a long time, one of the first things I always practice extensively is jump canceling moves, like just going helm breaker to multiple jumps, and so I can just keep spamming over and over again. That's usually like if you ever watch any Delvin Cry uh, combo video, for, especially with three and four, 
generally they're going to be using the jump cancel a lot and basically just like enemy hop just abused expense yeah like there <laughs> except I keep pressing it too early so yeah as of po this point by the way uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna go ahead and sit down and maxed out guns uh, no, not guns, 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 guns. sword master so I can go ahead and show off the coolest abilities in the whole fucking game toward the end of it and it'll be really cool so yeah, also as of this point, I'm kind of just gonna, pretty sure I'm just gonna drop the Artemis all together. I mean, I mean it's cool, except once you pick up some certain weapons later on in the game, maybe it becomes moot. So, eh. I don't know, I'm certain someday I'll find some really, really cool stuff for the Artemis, but today is not that day. Here, I'm just checking to make sure I got that, which I got my ass kicked the last time. Thank you, Devil Triggered Enemies on Hardwood, that's exactly what I wanted. Nah, that series is a giant fucking vagina. <laughs> Yeah. Also in this area right here, I don't know why, but the frame rate decides to absolutely take a shit. I don't know if it's just like the limitations of the PS2 and Capcom is kind of like pushing it, which I actually wouldn't be surprised about since considering this is kind of like the pinnacle of what the PS2 can do. Or if it was like intentionally done like that to create atmosphere, I really couldn't say one way or the other, but yeah. So anyway, for this boss coming up, oh boy. Uh, so it's gonna, my setup is I wanna abuse a certain stub with the Cerberus and Agni Rudra, which is involving Swordmaster and involving a lot of aerial spams. Except it's a bit more specific than that. Also, of course, I gotta make sure I'm going to this few Vitality Stars. And wouldn't you know, I actually died against this guy, so... <laughs> kinda was both of those, so I'm like, yeah, this sucks, but whatever. Yeah. Yes, and that I had to do a little bit of editing, but that won't be until the next video. And this right here is how I'm going to be killing him. Basically, jump, start doing, start doing a circle combo, and right before the end of the attack, you press the R2 button, switch the R weapon, and then press circle again, so you can immediately go into the next chain. That's basically how a lot of chain canceling in Devil Cry 3 works. But I guess I'll cover that more in depth at a later date. So see you in the last fight. Yee.